Max Verstappen put in one of the best drives Formula One has ever seen to win the Brazilian Grand Prix after starting 17th on the grid. But after the race, his closest championship rival Lando Norris refused to recognize Max's brilliance, instead calling Max lucky. Norris delivered a harsh verdict on Formula One's rule, allowing drivers to change tires for free during a red flag race suspension. The British driver argues that this very regulation played a significant role in him and McLaren, starting from pole, ultimately finishing just sixth in a race that has left Max on the brink of securing the 2024 world title. Max had a roller coaster weekend in Brazil. After being eliminated in Q2 during qualifying and receiving a five place grid penalty for an engine change, he started 17th on the grid. Meanwhile, Lando Norris secured pole position, presenting a prime opportunity for the McLaren driver to close the gap in the championship. However, Max had other plans. In one of his most impressive performances ever, Verstappen dominated the race, displaying unmatched confidence in the challenging wet conditions. He found grip where others couldn't and delivered one of the most remarkable drives in Formula One history. For Norris, the race took a different turn. He lost the lead to George Russell at the start, and his decision to pit for fresh intermediate wet tires under the virtual safety car proved costly. A red flag came out shortly after, leaving Norris and Russell at a disadvantage. When racing resumed, Norris made a couple of errors on track, allowing Russell and Charles Leclerc's Ferrari to pass. Ultimately, he finished sixth, far off the pace set by Verstappen. This result significantly damaged Norris's championship hopes, extending Verstappen's lead to 62 points with only three races remaining. One of the most debated moments of the Brazilian Grand Prix was the rule allowing teams to change tires during a red flag period without losing their track position. Early in the race, a virtual safety car was deployed after Nico Hülkenberg's car became stranded in the turn one runoff. Lando and Russell, both in the lead, pitted for fresh intermediate tires just as the VSC ended, losing nearly 20 seconds in the process. Max and the two Alpines stayed out, gaining positions. A few laps later, Franco Colapinto's heavy crash brought out a red flag, allowing Max, the Alpines and other drivers to switch to fresh tires. Without the typical time penalty of a pit stop, this proved to be a key moment for Verstappen as he maintained track position and gained a significant advantage when the race restarted. After the race, Norris expressed his frustration with the rules, particularly the tire change regulation under red flags. He felt it gave Verstappen an unfair advantage over both himself and Russell, who had pitted before the red flag. Reflecting on the chain of events, Norris said, it was just unlucky. I don't care about the hindsight side of things. That's luck for them, nothing more. They got lucky on a rule that no one agrees with. Probably they agreed with it today, but every driver has disagreed with it in the past. Today, it benefited them. It could have benefited us if we just stayed out, but that's a stupid thing to think of. Just a bit unlucky today, nothing more. Of course, disappointing. This wasn't Norris's first complaint either. After finishing 10th in Jeddah in 2021, he fumed, it's possibly the worst rule ever invented by someone, being able to change tires under the red flag. It ruined our race today. It feels like you do so much just to get it all taken away. Norris has been accused of making too many mistakes during a 2024 season, in which he has had a much faster package than Verstappen for a considerable percentage of the year. Now, Stella has slammed unfair criticism aimed at his driver, suggesting that both the team and Norris are happy with their progress throughout 2024. I think this is not a fair statement about Lando, as I said before. First of all, I would like to acknowledge that Max is now the bigger favorite for the championship, and he was already the favorite before. You have to be honest about that. He is a fantastic driver. He does a fantastic job. Lando is just behind him. We are proud where we are. I think Lando should be very proud of his performance, and in a race like today, that can happen. It can happen that you have problems here and there. We managed to stay in the race. We will learn from it and we will become stronger and stronger. The dream lives for the season. Overall, we had such a great development this season and we are now taking the lesson from it. If we don't win this year, we will come back stronger next year. Wet weather is often seen as a great equalizer in motorsport, leveling the playing field by narrowing the performance gap between cars and highlighting driver skill. However, it also serves as a pressure test, 
With so many variables in unpredictable conditions and constant disruptions, only those with the steeliest resolve can prevail, while others inevitably falter. Interlagos was particularly grueling, marked by a series of interruptions, including a bizarre, still under investigation start procedure, multiple crashes, safety cars, red flags, and the ever-changing weather. Amidst the chaos, Max delivered a masterful performance, maintaining complete control and making his competitors look out of their depth, all but securing his fourth world title. Max entered the Brazilian Grand Prix under scrutiny, facing public criticism for his driving style, following two controversial battles with Norris, the latter resulting in significant penalties. The Dutchman was seething after Saturday's qualifying session, where a late red flag caused by Lance Stroll in Q2 left him stranded in 17th, feeling aggrieved by Race Control's decision not to suspend the session earlier. After venting his frustrations, Verstappen responded in typical champion fashion during the race. While the result had only a marginal effect on the Constructors' Championship, its impact on the drivers' standings was far more significant. This was the race where Norris was expected to step up, put his foot down, and assert his title credentials. Martin Brundle believes Norris will come away from this year's experience with a valuable lesson, that fighting for a Formula One title brings a whole new set of challenges and rules. Norris's bid for a maiden championship took a significant hit in Brazil, where his hopes were dealt a crushing blow. Verstappen is now poised to clinch his fourth consecutive title at the next race in Las Vegas on November 24th. Unless Norris can outscore him by at least three points, it's about improving everything at the level he's at. He's had some amazing victories, and not least in Zandvoort and Singapore, where he just ran off and hid, a little bit like Max on Sunday. But he lacks the experience of challenging for a world championship, and I think that's a whole new set of challenges and rules. And that's what he will learn from this year. Sometimes you wonder if he lacks the killer instinct up against Max, who we know can be pretty brutal in combat. But I think Lando will learn a lot from this season, and Max winning seven of the first 10 races pretty much put him out of reach, really. For the title race to remain alive heading into the penultimate round in Qatar and the season's final sprint race, Norris must finish the Vegas weekend within 60 points of Max. To keep his hopes of dragging the title fight to the season finale in Abu Dhabi alive, he needs to be within 26 points of Max by the end of the Qatar Grand Prix weekend. In the 74-year history of the sport, spanning 1,121 races, only five have been won by a driver starting from 17th place or lower. Verstappen's victory in Brazil marked the first such comeback since Kimi Raikkonen's win in Japan 19 years ago, making it his biggest ever recovery to claim victory. For Norris, the hours after the race were excruciating. He appeared crestfallen as he finished in sixth place, a far cry from the title aspirations he held coming into the weekend. Make no mistake, this season presented a genuine opportunity for the 24-year-old to claim his first world title. But with just three wins and a series of missed opportunities, his inexperience and vulnerability, particularly at the start of the season, have been exposed. He will learn from this, but the question remains, will another opening like this come again? Meanwhile, Verstappen is on the verge of joining Alain Prost and Sebastian Vettel with four world titles, a feat that would place him in the top six of all time. With speculation swirling about his potential exit from the sport, moments like this will likely keep him deeply invested for many years to come. So, what do you think? Was Verstappen's win a masterclass in driving, or did luck play a bigger role than skill? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the latest F1 news.